Hey, Liz Marie Galvin. She's a Michigan-based interior designer and blogger that loves to keep things cozy. Now, she's got a new book out that can help you make your exterior spaces just as cozy as your interior ones. And for all the seasons. Take a look. When you hear the words cozy and cottage, you may automatically think indoors, but it doesn't have to be indoors. You can be cozy outdoors. Liz Marie Galvan knows all about that. Hi, Liz. Hi, how are you? I'm well. So you're on your second book, yes. all talking about being cozy. So you're like the queen of cozy? I, it's an honor to be called that. I'm very <laughs> thankful. I do love cozy spaces and helping others make theirs cozy as well. What does that word mean to you, cozy? So cozy to me is my five senses being at peace at once, and I use that as a checklist in all of my spaces to make them my individual definition of cozy. All right, so here we are uh, sitting outdoors. Okay, it's very cozy. As you can see, we have some lemon bread, some lemonade, some fresh fruit. I mean, it's nice the way you've got this set up. Let's walk through these senses. All yeah. right, let's walk through the five senses of cozy outdoors. Yeah, so I my first tip on making an outdoor space cozy is bringing the indoors outside. So when we're doing cozy spaces inside, I always say bring the outdoors in to bring life to your spaces. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm setting up a space, I love to bring the amenities that I use inside, outside, just to make it feel like an extension of our home. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't feel like you've ever really left home. Yeah, you know, it just feels like you have more square footage. Yeah, you know what I mean? Your house exactly. feels bigger in the summer. So let's start with the visual, with my eyes, right? Obviously a pop of color, yellows, blues, it always looks good in the summertime. You got the lemons out. Yeah, yeah, bring out your things that are inside, like tablecloths okay. and furniture, and really think about how you're going to be using the space. Greenery, you know, you move into your scent, you want fresh flowers, candles. We often think of the, bringing those inside but what if we clip some fresh flowers and use them outside as well? And then the sense of touch. I mean, it seems like whenever I'm outdoors, it almost feels like I'm camping, okay? I mean, we got the paper plates, we got the paper napkins, and you have a nice setup here. Thank you. No paper here. Thank you. We got no. linen tablecloth, you got you know, the linen, linen napkins, you got the, the lo lovely spread. So it really is a, a sense of touch in there too. Yeah, I really want it to feel, again, like an extension of our house. I want my guests to feel welcome. And so I do get brave and I use use things that maybe aren't um, outdoor safe, but just using them for gatherings can make it feel extra special and can make your guests feel welcome. So when you were writing this book, and let's talk about your book, okay, when did the first one come out? The first one came out in 2019. Mm -hmm. So um, that is filled with 100 simple tips on how to make your home cozy, mm -hmm. and it's very approachable. That's what, how I like to present things, um, and it's very simple and good for um, any kind of style home. Yeah. No matter where you live, on a farm, in the city, um, they're very simple tips. Modern, rustic. Anything. It all yep. works. Yep. Right. And now this new book, which just came out recently, talks about, well, kind of flips it. You're taking it the seasons outdoors. Yes, yeah, so this one takes you all through the year and through each season how to make your home cozy. We often think of cozy as just fall and winter, mm -hmm. but summer, spring, every season can be cozy. Okay, so being cozy in the summer and spring doesn't necessarily mean a camp, or like a, a fireplace with a cup of hot cocoa and a good book. It can mean a lovely lemon bread loaf and some <laughs> blueberries in a, in a picturesque table out by the pool on the, or your gazebo. When it comes to making cozy happen on a budget. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Because a lot of people want to have these things, but then again, they don't want to go out and buy a whole new dining set. It can be very expensive. If you're shopping online for outdoor furniture, like I did this year, it can really add up. And I always say, this should be the number one tip, is to never go out of budget when you're trying to make your space cozy because going into debt, decorating and making your space cozy is not cozy. You're not gonna feel comfortable. You're going to think about that. So really think about reusing items you already have, bringing your indoor items out. And something I did this year, I was looking for an outdoor table and they were way out of budget, so I went to an antique store and I found an entire set for $150. So it's really, think of thrift stores, antique stores, and um, just get crafty with yeah, it. Yeah, get yeah. crafty with it, really what it is. I mean, shopping for those bargains is key, and if people want to do shopping, I mean, you have more than books. 
I mean, you've got a place for people to shop. Yes, I do. <laughs> Let's it's, talk about that. Yeah, it's called The Found Cottage, and it's in Hudsonville, um, right on Chicago Drive, and it's filled with old and new. So we have a lot of antiques and a lot of really cool vendors in our shop that sell antiques and handmade. And then we also have new furniture, and you can special order through us, too. So we have everything from plants to clothing to antiques and more. I just noticed something. We were talking about the senses and the sound. It sounds like there's some like, is there a waterfall back here or some yeah. water, or water feature? Yes. I, I, hear, I feel very zen right now. I love that. That means <laughs> everything to me. Yeah, so we have a couple fountains. I actually got them at, on clearance as well this year. So really think about that too is shopping, end of the season clearance sales, and um, really think about that. So I got them for 50% off. So we added that beautiful sound mm -hmm. to our backyard and didn't go out of budget. Yeah, so. and, and it's something that your guests will notice. Yes. I just did. Yeah. So Liz Marie Galvan, she's got the books that you need to pick up. It's a, basically how to get cozy indoors and outdoors. And if you want to get cozy, you're going to want to follow her on social. I'm assuming you've got yourself all over Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and yeah, everywhere else. Yeah, now right? on TikTok. So <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Right. Give her a follow and then get cozy. You know, Liz's design tips and wisdom have been featured on the Today Show, Better Homes and Gardens, Adding Country Living. She blogs daily on her website, lizmarieblog.com, where thousands of people go for tips and inspiration every day. You can do that, too. You can follow Liz and all of her adventures on her social media sites, including Instagram, at Liz Marie Galvin. We'll be right back.